All right, so this is a chemistry class, and um, so we do have to talk a little bit about the atoms. And so when we were talking about greenhouse gases and vibrations, um, we were saying, well, um, what does this mean? What does it mean to vibrate anyway? Um, and so, so I have a, some pictures of carbon dioxide. And so carbon dioxide means you have one carbon and two oxygens. So the black is the carbon and the blue circles up there are the oxygen. And these black lines that are connecting them together are, represent pairs of electrons that are, are shared between the atoms. So, so we have two different ways. If you look at this molecule, um, how can it vibrate? Well, the thing can stretch, boink, 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 like a spring, um, out and back, out and back. That's one way that it can vibrate. And then there's another way, uh, which would be for the molecule to bend. So in this case, the, the carbon goes one direction and the, the two oxygens are going other directions. So um, the, uh, chemists know this because you can, you can bombard the molecule with different wavelengths of infrared light and see what happens. And so the molecule is vibrating in these two different ways based on two different um, wavelengths of carbon dioxide. So I had said O2 oxygen, nitrogen gas, N2. Uh, both of these are not greenhouse gases. It ends up, um, the criteria, really the criteria for any atmospheric gas molecule to be a greenhouse gas is that it has to have three or more atoms. And so, so the water, the methane, all of these are molecules that, um, that meet this criteria. Okay, so what else? Okay, so we, your book talks a good bit about the history of greenhouse gases. Um, um, let, me, let me look at this and I'll come back and we'll do the next video.